Ikora Ray is the Warlock Vanguard, best known for being a silent badass. She's an academic, a mentor, an informant, and a constant ally throughout the story of Destiny and Destiny 2. But I bet there's some things you didn't know about her. Here are 10 interesting facts about Ikora Ray. Number 1. Ikora is the first Guardian with a 25 Crucible win streak. This is something most of us are aware of by now, and we always hear talk about how fierce she was in the arena, though we've never seen it. Shax himself claims the Crucible is home to Ikora. Whether anyone has beaten or claimed this record again, outside of our own Guardians of course, we don't really know. However, this and scenes we've seen from the story solidify Ikora as a true badass. Listen, I I'm sorry for what I said about Warlocks, please don't shoot me in the face. Number 2. Ikora is the only person to beat Shax in the Crucible. In my video on Cade, we discussed that he beat Shax in a bout of some kind. But as far as the Crucible goes, the Handler is likely a reigning champion that all fear to face. However, you can't stop Ikora, and neither can Shax apparently. If you read the lore tab on the Lucky Pants, it appears that an I. Ray was the only one to have beaten Shax. I. Ray, of course, being our very own Ikora Ray. How she did this and what the score was is unknown, but Ikora really would have to be fierce to take this mountain of a man down. I'm not sure, but knowing Ikora likes her shotguns and Shax likely is an absolute ape in the Crucible, I assume it was essentially a shotgun battle with Ikora winning because she had Blink. Damn warlocks. Number 3. Ikora leads a secret group called The Hidden. Ooh, mysterious. We've all heard the hidden mentioned in Strike and Mission dialogue, but who are they? Well, all we know is that they are scouts and spies employed by Ikora to find information and potentially stop disasters. Thanks to these mysterious individuals, more than one tragedy has been stopped. It's not known how many members there are and what class they are, but the only two known members, Eris Morn and Chalco Young, are both hunters. This group essentially makes Ikora the spy master, and these hidden make up her web. Ooh, come on, Tasty Fallen, right into our trap. Number 4. Ikora was apprenticed to Osiris. In Ikora's earlier years, before her ascension to the Warlock Vanguard position, she had quite an intelligent teacher. Osiris, the former Warlock Vanguard, had taken Ikora under his wing and taught her everything he knows. This shows quite a bit with Ikora's previously unorthodox methods, which is coming up. Even after his banishment, Ikora retains quite a bit of respect and admiration for her teacher, so it seems that the student has surpassed the master. What a twist! Number 5. Ikora was on the consensus that exiled Osiris. Before the consensus, which is all of the faction representatives, the vanguard masters, and the speaker, well, previously, uh, exiled Osiris, Ikora was filling in for temporary Warlock Vanguard while he was gone. During one fateful consensus, however, Ikora was promoted to full-time Warlock Vanguard right before another vote took place. This vote was the one to exile Osiris for his unorthodox and dangerous methods and study of the Vex. With none opposing, it was passed, and Ikora put her vote down to exile her own master and her predecessor. First the student surpasses the master, now the essential elimination of your master? Man, is it just me or are Warlocks starting to seem more like the Sith? Number 6. Ikora abstained from the Traveler's ideology. As I previously mentioned, Ikora has previously adopted some very unorthodox methods to obtain knowledge. Having left behind the city in their ideology, Ikora spent quite a lot of time exploring restricted zones like the EDZ and partook in methods that most disagree with. In this list of methods is Thanatonautics, which is the art of killing yourself to be revived again and again, waiting longer each time in order to glean knowledge or have visions, often done by Sunsingers. As a side note, this is a really interesting topic, and if you want to know more, I'll post a link to My Name is Bife's video uh, on the topic down below, and you should totally check it out. Anyways, although she spent much of her younger years blazing a trail of destruction and gaining knowledge, she eventually came back to the tower with all this knowledge and was well respected for her intellect. You know what they say, gotta jump off a few bridges if you want to get smart. Don't, don't really do that. It's, it's dangerous. You, you'll die and you won't come back.
Number seven, Ikora's ghost and her don't talk anymore. The only ghost we've seen speak next to our own, and he does plenty of it, is Sagira, and she has quite a bit of dialogue in the game and in the lore. However, next to seeing them float over their shoulders in Destiny 1, and the scenes with Cade's ghost on Nexus, or scene, rather, we don't really see much of our Vanguard's ghosts. Even if we don't hear them, they do talk, if at least only to their respective partner. And yes, ghosts are partners, not sidekicks. Who's with me? No one? Oh. Okay. Moving on. Ikora's ghost, however, doesn't seem to talk to her at all. Remember how he said that Ikora used to dabble in thana thanatonautics? I can't pronounce words. Well, after doing this for quite some time, her goat center got into a spit, where he accepted that he couldn't stop her and had to do what she wished. So he simply stopped talking to her and just obeyed. That's harsh, man. A and this cold shoulder is made worse by the fact that he's actually over her shoulder constantly. Number 8. Ikora has written many books. We've already covered that Ikora is a very accomplished scholar, but did you know that she is also a renowned author? Although she isn't writing any masterpieces like Hunter of the Heart, Ikora has an entire library of scholarly books of her wisdom that she has made to pass her wisdom on. I said wisdom twice. She's stated having written a 12 volume book series, which she had to rewrite when the Traveler woke up. Many people in the tower have given Ikora glowing reviews, and I don't think she'll stop writing anytime soon. Knowledge is always valuable. Man, I'm willing to bet Ikora has written more books than Stephen King. That's a lot of books. Number 9. Ikora blames herself for the invasion of the Red Legion. A bit more of a sad fact, Ikora actually blames herself for the invasion of the Cabal and the destruction of the Tower. She doesn't think that she's the direct cause, obviously, but she feels like she could have predicted and prevented this catastrophe. With her spider web of hidden and all the knowledge she has, she stopped many problems in the past by deploying guardians. This time, however, she was caught completely off guard, and we weren't able to gain the upper hand. This is why Ikora grows so angry at the attack, and why she runs off to Io to reflect on what has happened. Ikora, despite what happened, we all did our best. No one blames you. It was a tragedy, and no one could have seen it coming. You fought bravely, and that's all we can ask. Number 10. Ikora touched the Shard of the Traveler before we did. A bit of a shocking revelation, Ikora actually made her way to the EDZ and touched the Shard, same as us. All Guardians had the vision of the Shard, and it took us quite some time to actually make our way to it, but she beat us to the punch. Having already known its location in the area very well, Ikora dispatched the Fallen around the area without her powers and touched the Shard only for nothing to happen. This was the catalyst that sent her to Io, the last place the Traveler's light touched. It seems that the Traveler issued out a summons, but only found us worthy. Sad as it is, it did lead Ikora to adopting a new philosophy towards our existence and our fight. I guess all the knowledge in the world doesn't help if you're not chosen. If it's any consolation, I would have chosen Ikora instead. I mean, she's a total badass. Well guys, that was 10 interesting facts about Ikora Ray. I hope you learned something new and I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out because I post a new one of these every Wednesday and up next is Zavala. Anyways guys, until next time, I'm Aaron Darkblade. Peace.